Those seem to be, try to be, uh, dark navigation tips, but obviously I can't really, like, to me that br light is a lot brighter. Uh, you can focus in on those lights over there. No, so this sucks, kind of. Like, uh, it was a lot more light outside. Well, it was. Some fuck. Some must have just went down in, like, the last 20 minutes or so. Because I've been fucking around with the uh, microphone. Um, that light? No, can't see any light on the camera. But, well, I already mentioned before, now I'm going through the hallway. Very different sound in here. Very different feel. So there's... It's like echolocation, kind of. Uh, you can smell. Like, I just moved out into a bigger room. Uh, there's a... Oh. There's a raccoon that <clears throat> passed away when I first got here, and so he's been out there. So, although I can't really smell him right now. Not too much. But, the air... It's, it, it smells more open because I'm in an open space. And, uh, and that could also be useful for, uh, like, if a room is, like, kind of moldy from water damage and whatnot, I can, like, smell it down the hall. Whereas if there's an exit I'm trying to get to, I can kind of smell my way out via the fresh air. You see this one? Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So we can see this one. Yeah, see, it's still fucking light out there, but uh, it's not enough to really illuminate anything in here. But for me, from my perspective, I can see, like, now that my vision's adjusted to the low light, I can see hints of where things are by the way the light goes off of it. And then there's also angles, like, so I wanted to show, like, like, I'm between these two windows, right? I can tell, like, where I am in the room based on knowledge of where these windows are. And if you use this place in a perfectly dark room with no window, with, like, no reference points like that, you really wouldn't know if you're in the middle of the room, or if you're on the edges. So noting where the windows are in relation the light, the little bits of light that come in in relation to everything else. We're looking at the cameras, fucking my, uh, actually fucking my, looking at the phones, fucking up my night vision. Uh, my low light vision. I, I can see a streak of light going across the floor and yeah, I could like make out the shape of a table. I can get the gist of where places I don't want to walk are. I mean, there's really a lot more that things I just naturally do. I just don't really know how to explain. I was down the steps. Oh, yeah, and uh, use feeling to find your way around. Like, you can, but you want to be very careful, like, if you're running your hand along a wall, uh, you could also shuffle with your feet, kind of feel out what's in front. And as you do that, you can take like a pace count of what's around, or I mean, like from point A to point B. But one thing is, uh, like the, even in almost pitch black, like almost pitch black, like you can't see your, your you can't even really see your, your uh, hand in front of your face. But like when you get to a door, there's like a really, really faint shift in the blackness that like, it's like a deeper blackness, right? And then like around the door edge is, uh, it's hard to describe. Like the shit just sort of like, like if you just make it your lifestyle to go out and to fucking live in abandoned places and I mean, if this was like World War Three shit or like Fallout or, uh, you know, uh, or if I was in a war zone, I guess, without night vision, if you want to have light discipline, like it's the same thing with this because I don't want a, I don't want a bunch of fucking lights in here. If I start turning on lights, 
I'd have light going out the cracks in the windows, and then I'd have fucking people here trying to harass me. I don't want that. It's like, oh yeah, shit. I just seen a, so a car pass by, and in these little ass, like, between the boards, right, the cracks and the fucking, where light can get through, you can still see, like, a car. A car's lights will shine across the, uh, the fucking walls or the roof. And that's further hints as to where things are. Uh, you know, you can even use the windows. Like, you can place objects, like, if there's, like, a pillar or something and you're trying to get an idea. And there's like a, like I'm looking at these doors, right? They got the glass in between them and stuff. But like, if I want to get an idea of of their shape, you can you can angle yourself so you silhouette you you silhouette the object you're trying to figure out what its shape is. Uh, I'm walking around too. I'm not making a whole lot of noise because I cleared myself paths. So even if I can't quite see. Yeah, my vision is becoming a lot better now that I'm not looking at my phone. Uh, so I still make mistakes. I still like step into a spot and it's like fuck, because you know, like you stumble and fall and shit, or just it's just a big fucking ruckus. I don't know. It just seemed like timing. The timings are fucking. My battery's at like a hundred percent, so I just got it charged up and. I got back and it's dark and I've been thinking about doing this sort of video for a long time. I'm sure there'll be a part two when I'm like more prepared to like fucking explain shit. Plus I mean my skill's only gonna improve. Fucking sarcastic blessings. Oh, see I just stepped on. I thought that'd be good to step on, but it just cracked into and made a lot of noise. Yeah, so I'm stepping in spots where I don't want to step. Uh, I don't know, man. This is sort of like a survival video. It's cool. I can get like the whole scope and shape of the room now. There's just a little bit of light sort of shining onto things. And even if there was no light, I can still hear. I want to get better at the echolocation. There's supposed to be a way blind people do it too. But uh, I've I've used a stick too. Like sometimes if you want to just do a cheat move, just grab a stick, like a walking stick, put that out in front of you. Yeah, I, don't know, I guess that's it. Just a fucking bunch of random little tips on how to navigate at night. Just food for thought if you're like have any kind of like survival instinct and think that the world's going the same way that I think it's going. Or if you're just kind of screwed like me and stuck in this situation. That's almost long, eight and nine minutes.